Many products that we consume in our daily lives are produced from planted forests. These products are made from wood, fibers, and even the leaves of these trees. Just like any other crop, planted forests can be attacked by pests and diseases that may stunt their growth and affect the supply of these products. The main pests attacking these forests are leafcutter ants. There are two types of leafcutter ants that cause the most damage. They belong to genus Atta and Acromermex. They are found only in the Americas. These ants live in organized societies. Like soldiers in a well-trained army, each ant has their own specific job. For example, some cut leaves from trees to cultivate the fungus they eat, while others clean and protect their nest. They work non-stop, and at any sign of danger, they communicate quickly to protect the nest. A single nest may contain 10 million ants. Together, they can consume a ton of leaves per year. Without their leaves, trees cannot perform photosynthesis and do not grow. Leaf cutter ants can reduce wood production by more than 50% or even completely destroy young plantations within a short period of time. This is why it's so important and necessary to control these pests. However, this is no easy task. Nearly 8,000 methods have been tested using both natural and chemical products, but very few are effective, feasible, and legal. These products are available as powders, liquids, and attractive baits. Baits are the most important and effective method of control. Ant control is performed during planting or when monitoring shows that the level of infestation is high and may present a risk to forest's growth. Leaf cutter ants can cause enormous damage. Because of the complex organization of their nests, control is an ongoing challenge that must be carried out responsibly, always considering environmental and social aspects. The main goal is to make sure planted forests stay healthy. This will allow them to contribute to the supply of raw materials and minimize pressure on native forests.